linearly dependent vectors. Which of the following vectors are linearly dependent with a equals to 6 minus 4, 2? So we are given three different vectors, b, c, d. I will solve this question for one of them and then you can solve for the other two. That way you learn while you watch my videos. So that's a good idea. Now, when we are saying linearly dependent, then what are we trying to say? How can we find that the two vectors are linearly dependent? Let us take the vectors a and b. If I have to prove that vectors a and b are linearly dependent, what should I prove? Basically, I need to really prove that vector b is kind of a scalar multiple of vector a. If I prove this, then I know they are linearly independent. Right? So for linearly independent, we are trying to prove two things. That is scalar multiple, which really means that the vectors are parallel. Or you can also say collinear. So these are the other terms which could have been used instead of linearly dependent. So a linearly dependent vector is the one which is a scalar multiple which is parallel and which is collinear, right? So that is how we have to see it. Now let us solve for it. So what we have is, let's try to prove whether B is a linearly dependent vector or not with respect to A. So as I said, we'll say B vector which is minus 9, 6 minus 3 is equals to k times 6 minus 4, 2. So if we find a value of k which can satisfy this relation, then they are linearly dependent. Otherwise, they are not. Right. So let's figure out what value of k can satisfy this relation. Let's start with minus 9. So we'll have three different equations. Minus 9 equals to 6k. Then we also have equation 6 is equals to minus 4k and then we have equation minus 3. So these are three different equations equals to 2 times k. Now in each of these if I get the same value of k that means it's a scalar multiple. right? So let's calculate. So in this one we get k equals to minus 9 over 6 we say k equals to minus, dividing by 3, we get 3 over 2. Now in the second equation, we get 6 over minus 4 equals to k, or k is equals to minus, dividing by 2 this time, 3 over 2. Perfect. Now in the third case, we get minus 3 over 2 equals to k. So what do we get for k? In all the three conditions, we get k equals to minus 3 over 2, right? So that means k is a scalar number which exists and which makes the two vectors collinear, right? Since they are scalar multiple, they are collinear or parallel vectors and therefore they are linearly dependent vectors. So we say, well, this one is linearly dependent, right? Now follow the same method and check whether b and c, the vectors c and d, are linearly dependent or not. Correct? Remember, you should get k values same in all the three cases. That is how it should be proved. Thank you and all the best.